Hey, what's up guys, Ryan here and welcome back to another tutorial and today we're revisiting an older tutorial about how to export Apple ProRes if you're running Windows on a PC. So I've gotten a couple of comments and messages on having some issues with the program. Whether it's installing it or executing the presets. So today we're gonna to start all over. There's a new version of another GUI. We're gonna start fresh, install the whole thing and just kind of show you how to set it up and I hope it works out for you and addresses all those problems that uh, people have been having. So let's just go ahead and jump right in. All right, so here is my old video um, and we're just gonna start with these two links. I'll provide the links and I'll also provide a zip file that just has all the files in it and you can just follow along and you don't have to go to these uh, links if you don't want to. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I have these open already. So let's download another GUI first. And the first thing I'll say is this is 2.1 that we're gonna download today. I have heard that people are having some issues with 2.1 in ProRes. So um, let's do this. If you already have 1.8 installed, I have 1.8 right here. I'm gonna go ahead and double click it and I'm gonna run this clean registry before we even get started. All right, so if you already have 1.8 installed, make sure you run that registry and um, let's go ahead and start with a 2.1. And if for some reason you have issues with 2.1, 1 1.8 still works. Uh, there's a couple less features. The interface is a little different, but you'll still be able to get ProRes on your PC. So let's go ahead and start with 2.1. I'll just download that. All right, and then the other link is to FFmpeg. And I'm going to download the 64-bit uh, static version. So let's go ahead and just click download on that. We'll save that as well. And let's go ahead, I'm just gonna minimize this window for now. And let's go to my downloads folder. All right, and so here is the two zip files. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna right click this. I'm gonna say extract to another GUI, give it its own folder. So here's our working folder now. And I'm gonna do the same thing with FFmpeg. I'm going to extract that to its own folder as well. And this is what I personally like to do. I'm gonna go ahead and drag the FFmpeg folder into another GUI. And then I'm gonna put, instead of my downloads folder, I'm gonna put another GUI into my programs folder. Since this is a portable file, you don't actually install it. it just You can just run it. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to move it over here. I'm gonna replace the one that's already there because I did this earlier. And from here, what I'm gonna do is before we get started, I'm gonna go ahead and just right click this and I'm going to pin to my taskbar. So I have another GUI right there. So let's kind of run through the process of making a clip ProRes. And let's go ahead and open it up and start working in another GUI. So it's gonna ask, do you wanna load the sample presets? Yes, we do. I'll click okay on that. And already we have a bunch of built-in presets. We have our Final Cut Pro folder here with ProRes. And let's go ahead and add a clip and maybe this will solve some of the issues that some of you are running into um, having some errors pop up when you try to convert a clip. So here's a clip, Ooh, it's a little loud. So here's a clip I have, it's uh, my buddy Ryan Decessory shot this with his uh, drone in Colorado. And right now this is just straight from the GoPro, it's an MP4. And let's say we wanted to make this ProRes. So let's go ahead and bring it into another GUI. I'll select the clip. I'll select the clip. Let's go to our presets. And we'll go with, uh, let's just go with ProRes 422. Our presets applied, we wanna click go, and we get this error. Uh, we had one job with error, do you wanna reload the job? Yes, and the error is it can't find the FFmpeg file, the executable. So let's go ahead and reload that. And a cool new thing that this version has is we can point it to all our executables. So right now it can't find FFmpeg. And if you remember, we put it in our another GUI folder, which we then moved to the program files folder. So Let's go ahead, I'm just gonna double click this and I'm gonna to navigate to my C drive. All right, program files, another GUI. Here's our FFmpeg folder. 
go another level, and it's in this first bin. And here's our FFmpeg executable. So I'll go ahead and open that up. It's gonna keep this path in memory. So we'll say, yep, always go to that, and we'll close this. All right, cool. So here's our GoPro footage. We got it in another GUI. Let's go ahead and click Go. And there we go. It's starting to convert the clip. We have our new movie file right here. And let's go ahead and take a look at that when it's all done. All right, cool. So another GUI just got done converting that clip. Uh, another free utility I like to use to sort of look at codecs and what we're working with here is this free little application called Media Info. So I'll go ahead and click that. Our original clip was 2K, 59, you know, 60 frames per second, AVC HD. Let's go ahead and look at our new clip using Media Info. And we have, you know, same sort of thing going on, 2K, 60 frames per second, but now we have ProRes 422. All right, awesome. So I hope that helps those people who are having, you know, just slight issues of getting going and installing and, you know, executing those presets. Uh, there's tons more presets if you guys need them. Uh, just download them, bring them in another GUI. And uh, yeah, otherwise I have uh, more tutorials coming out with another GUI with some of the new features. Also I have a motion tracking tutorial coming out on Friday. So if you want, you know, tune in for that. And thanks again, guys. Leave comments if you have more questions or if there's anything else I can help out with. And I will talk to you guys next time. Cool, so it's really slowing down towards the end there, which is nice, kind of eases into it a little bit more. All right, cool, so we're almost there, we're doing good.